After 18 straight days of negotiations, Catholic Health and CWA Local 1133, representing more than 2,000 Western New York health care workers, failed to reach an agreement overnight, triggering the strike at South Buffalo Mercy Hospital. This picket line that you see here has been active since 6 o'clock this morning. And tonight we have team coverage beginning with two on your sides, Steve Brown. He's live after hearing from Catholic Health President and CEO Mark Sullivan. So Steve, what's the latest? Hi, Mary Ellis. It's not a great situation for anybody, for Catholic Health or the union, this particular strike. But Catholic Health CEO Mark Sullivan went out of his way today at his news conference to be complimentary of the striking workers, calling them the soul of Mercy Hospital. That said, there is a strike. That means that there is patients to be, there are patients to have care taken of, and there are, there are decisions to be made by Catholic Health. There are fewer than usual patients at Mercy, 200 instead of the usual capacity, which brings them over to 300. So replacement workers were brought in, as you can see, not warmly greeted by striking hospital staff this morning. The staffing company supplying those replacements is Huffmaster out of suburban Detroit. It is providing everything from healthcare professionals to support staff to building security. Sullivan says this is costing millions for Catholic Health, but didn't specify how much. Asked how long he could sustain such an expense, this was Sullivan's response. I don't have a choice. We were founded 170 years ago with no money, with a daughter going door to door raising $5,000 and opening a, a, a hospital in a school. We have an obligation to this community. Um, I don't want this strike to go on. How long will I let this go on before I give in? I gave in last night. I asked, what else is there to do? And they said, there is nothing you can do. Now, Sullivan says that he has essentially given CWA what it is that it asked for, higher pay. He has offered it more staffing. He has offered it up to 230 more individual workers. But there still is this impasse. There still is this strike. Sullivan would like to get back to the bargaining table, but he noted this afternoon kind of pouring water on rumors that there were upcoming bargaining talks coming. He said there are none. So we're at where we're at, at least for now.